The Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk's meeting with the Prime Minister didn't deliver everything she wanted, with the federal government still refusing to co-fund the Cross River Rail project. Just days out from the state budget, it raises questions about the future of the project and how it will be paid for. Alison Horn reports. Trouble being seen. We have uh, Anastasia. Thank you. Yep, Thank you, Prime Minister. And heard. Still fighting. The Premier went into the COAG meeting with a clear intention, asking the Commonwealth to match the state's spending of $850 million for Cross River Rail. We need Cross River Rail. It's our number one priority. And why shouldn't Queensland's number one priority be Malcolm Turnbull's number one priority? The rail project is a 10 kilometre link between Dutton Park and Bowen Hills, which the government hopes will ease traffic congestion. And although trains were on the table... Mate, we're talking about rail. It's the $10 billion rail fund we're talking about. So there was no okay. money for Queensland. Labor now has to decide whether it will use next week's state budget to commit more funds to get the trains on track. It seems the only option open to this government uh, will be to go out and put more money on the taxpayer's credit card. And while the Premier's been asking, her Treasurer has been outspending, with pre-budget announcements for agriculture and fisheries in regional Queensland. But the clean-up from Cyclone Debbie has left the government's bottom line $1.1 billion worse off. Curtis Pitt won't say if he'll need to borrow money to keep infrastructure projects on target. Since coming to office, we have considerably lowered our debt uh, compared to when we came into office. Uh, so on that basis, of course, uh, it frees up a lot of opportunity for us to actually just simply fund our infrastructure projects. And even the government's own MPs aren't confident they'll get a budget gift. I'm bloody hoping so. <laughs> just four days until we find out. Alison Horn, ABC News, Brisbane.